Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria and we are so glad and excited to bring God's truth to you today. Now this is a new week, praise God. And, and just like last week, oh, the Lord blessed us with utterance. He blessed us with good words last week, praise God. Hallelujah. And, and we know and we are convinced that this week you will begin to see miracles in your life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now we're still talking about family matters. matters. But before we go on, let's call in our daily bread today. I don't know about you, but we are expecting great miracles mm -hmm. today. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it comes from the Lord. So can you join us right now as we make those demands? Say this with us. Say, Father. Father. I demand. I demand. Right now. Right now. My daily bread. My daily bread. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' in name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Surely a miracle is happening today. Praise God. The Lord is going to meet that need that is supposed to be met today. Amen. Because that's what He does. Jesus says, Your Father knows that you have need, need of, of these things. things. <laughs> if he knows, now we trust he is very responsible father. Mm -hmm. So if he knows it, then we know that it's done. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we, we got talking about the family. And then we were talking about setting an agenda for the family. Mm. And we were using Abraham as that our reference yeah. point in the yeah. last week. Yeah. And then we were really putting it true that look god there was something about abraham that connected him with god mm -hmm. and we talked about abraham commanding his children and his household after, after him god, yeah. and that means first of all abraham had to be receiving from the lord yes then what he receives from the lord he commands mm -hmm. yeah we talked about how uh, you need to keep the word of God. When you keep the word of God, just mm -hmm. like Jesus said, my father yeah. will love you. Yes. And we will come and make our, our board. board. Yeah. Amen. And then we even got talking about certain challenges mm -hmm. um, that's, that makes those things or, or makes parents mm -hmm. not to be that available. We talked about availability. Mm -hmm. then we talked about, we talked about um, the feeling of being Inadequate. Or inadequate. Yeah. Yeah. The feeling of being inadequate. So mm. instead of confronting the issue, mm. sometimes, especially men, mm. they decide to stay away. away. So they, they end up staying away with the wrong people that they are not supposed to stay with. Mm. The truth is, those people don't know them long mm -hmm. enough or mm -hmm. deep enough mm -hmm. to be able to confront them. Mm. Mm. Now, all these are issues that come up in people's minds. I know the truth is mostly found in your mind. Yeah. It doesn't mean that's how God sees it. It doesn't mean that's what God has said your life would be. Mm -mm. It's just something in your mind. And yeah. that thing in your mind now prevents you because, from yeah. becoming God's best. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now what's in your spirit to share with us today? Let's go back to that um, Genesis, right? Yeah. So that those of just in case someone is joining us for the first time, you know our anchor scripture. Genesis 18. Uh, we start reading from 17. Genesis chapter 18. Yes, please. And verse 17. Yes. Can I read? Yes, yes. Please. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? And that, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. God is thinking of man. And he's saying, should I hide what I'm doing from this man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because God. the man showed himself. <laughs> availability. That's know? the man I always he want was, to be. Mm -hmm. He was available for God to commune with. You know, how can God be doing something in my environment and then I wouldn't know? I'll be surprised like everyone else. I don't think I like Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can something be going on in my home and I'm not aware? And you're not aware. Especially something negative and I'm not aware. That means my relationship with God is maybe a little bit shaky or maybe I'm not sensitive enough 
Or maybe God is talking and I'm not even available to listen. You know? Because sometimes the issues that comes up in the home, if, let's say, the husband or the wife, or even the children when they grow up and they're of age, and they are sensible, um, sensitive, that's the word, they are sensitive to the Spirit of God, certain evils will not thrive in the home because someone is keeping watch. You know, this is God. And He is doing I can't just do things without, without telling you. To someone. Yes. Yes. And he took the pain to explain his plans and his intention to, to Abraham. Abraham. Now he confirms what the scripture says that the Lord will not do anything until he first mm. reveals it to his servant, mm. the prophet. Mm. Now, you were saying something. How can things be happening, especially negative things, be happening in your home? Mm -hmm. and you are not aware. aware. That's a serious thing. Yeah. Now, if God, that means God cannot just bless you without first of all making you aware of it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. the blessing of God is not supposed to be like a shock. Mm -mm. He's supposed to first of all make you aware of, of what, the he's, part. what right. he's planning to do. Yes. Because like we know, the blessing of God follows instructions. Mm -hmm. Now then, if God is going to make you aware first before he does anything, now why should Satan do anything in my environment and I'm not aware of it? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm, I'm thinking more like spiritual protocol. Okay. So God wants to do something, but he knows before he does it, he needs to speak about it first. Mm, mm. He needs to speak about, you know, if, if someone says God speaks to the one who cares. Mm. So he needs to speak about the one who he thinks in. He doesn't go around looking mm. for who to, you know, oh, let me just find someone, at least let me tell somebody. No, he looks for people who can understand him. Mm -hmm. He looks for people who he can commune with. So mm -hmm. he is looking for people who are in fellowship with him. There was a relationship, an ongoing relationship. Yes. yes. So now, how come if I'm walking with the Lord, mm -hmm. then Satan will walk into my family and begin to disrupt things? Mm -hmm. I'm not aware of it. Mm -hmm. And God doesn't tell, tell me. me. And then things are just going on behind my back. Mm. No, 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 no. Don't, let's not give too much power to the devil. Mm. I think the truth is this. Someone has not been listening. Yes. Someone has not been in tune with God. With the Lord. Oh, someone has not been available. Oh, yeah. Someone has not oh, been God available. To talk to. God to talk to. Yes. yes. Or oh, someone has been too busy. That is For not availability. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise mm. God. Now, let, let me continue what I was reading. You know, mm -hmm. see, that's the thing with, with, with the mm -hmm. word. He just dropped that <laughs> into my spirit, you know, like, shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? So, just made me remember what we talked about last week, that unavailability will not allow you to fully express what God has in store. Like, God had already talked to Abraham before now, and Abraham maintained, he was consistent with the relationship even after God met him God and told him, him, God could trust him, you know. God could trust him. Yeah. And now he says, since Abraham shall, shall surely, surely become a great and mighty nation, nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him for I have have known him. him. Now, this is experiential knowledge. Mm. This is not omniscient knowledge. Mm -hmm. See, God, God is omniscient. Now. That that's also something you know. You know, people say God knows. God omniscient means God knows everything. So mm. He knows what you would do. Knows what is, no, that's not true. Omniscience. Now, that, this is what the Holy Spirit told me. <laughs> he said, omniscience means God has the answer to everything. To everything. That's yes. the real meaning of the word omniscience. Mm -hmm. God has the answer to, to everything. everything. Praise no matter what so it now, is. now, I have to say that. Say, For I have known him. Now, I have known him, yes, talking about experiential knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
So God is depending on his experiential knowledge mm. to deal with this man. Mm -hmm. Right? So he says, For I have known him in, in order, order that he may command his, his children. children and his household after, after him. him. Yeah. That they keep the way of the Lord to do judge, righteousness and, and justice. justice. That I may bring to Abraham what that the Lord, sorry, that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to, to him. him. Praise God. Now, what God was about to tell Abraham here has nothing directly to do with his family. Mm -hmm. God is passing by to go destroy Sodom so and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And then he says, see, I can't, I, can't, I can't do this thing without first of all telling to Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. It gives me this feeling that, and I believe this is truth, God was just looking for, you know, we read it last week. Okay. God loves to exercise, exercise loving kindness. kindness. Now, God have received reports concerning Sodom. But then he said, let me go down there and see for myself if those things are here. True. It's true. Mm -hmm. We are experiencing it. Yes, so, yes. Because I want to experience this thing that mm -hmm. I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. So God is not going to act based on omniscience. Like, um, he's not going to act based on what we think omniscience. Like, I know everything. No. He's going to, let me go there and there and confirm things. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you are the one talking. Praise God. So, so just Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, um, we've established this anchor scripture yeah. as the this man as the role model for families in in the kingdom yeah. and last week we talked about um unavailability of the head of the home not you know being around to um, execute his duties no matter the challenge i just want to talk a little bit about um that feeling of when you have made a mistake because sometimes to the mistakes you make you know, might just want to separate you from the the work that you have with the Lord. This man, Abraham, God said, I know him. Remember that Abraham, even in the course of, um, um, in, in the course of the work he had with God, he made several mistakes, like in the case of Ishmael. Abraham did not hide his mistake from the Lord. The relationship was still ongoing. God came and spoke to him and still reminded him of what, what he, he had said. already said. Because, see, that's the thing with God. He's not going to change his mm -mm. plan because mm -mm. of it. The, yes. He's not going to change his plan because mm -mm. he made a mistake. Yes. And that's what many people think. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've blown it. Mm -hmm. Let's leave it. You know, it's even amazing that God, when God showed up, he said, as for Sarah, your wife, she will have a son. Mm -hmm. And then Abraham thought about it and said, no, Lord, let Ishmael leave. Mm -hmm. No, Lord, look, Lord, let's leave this thing. It's, it's too bad. Mm -hmm. Let Ishmael leave. But God didn't say, well, Abraham. Let's Abraham, end it here, right? yes. And he said, well, what I have spoken, I have spoken mm -hmm. and it came to pass. So your mistake will not stop God's plan from being fulfilled. fulfilled. Because mm -hmm. God is faithful. Mm -hmm. And then God is love. Loving. Yeah. We talk about love. Love is mm -hmm. responsibility. So he takes responsibility. Okay. Even for that mistake that you made. Yeah. And creates the situation to still bring forth his plan. Right, exactly. His plan is the most important thing for him. Yes, yes. And the, the funny thing about this mistake is, this mistake was him trying to fulfill what trying God said. Trying to fulfill what God has said. But you know how time yes, is up. Exactly. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. He, you know, listen, just, I don't know, I don't know how 
get into this word. You see, now everything we're sharing with is what we learn from the Spirit of God. You know, when we, we are still learning. the scriptures and, and, and we up. learn from the Spirit of God. We can all know these things for ourselves and then be a blessing to everyone around us. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Don't miss this broadcast tomorrow. God bless you. Bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.